graduation is upon us, and it would be an understatement to say that it is not what we expected. We have dreamed about this day for four years, and it seems as though it's been taken from us. However, as Arthur Ashe once said, success is the journey, not a destination. The doing is often more important than the outcome. And with that, we would like to acknowledge and thank everyone who has helped us along on the journey that is high school. Thank you to the administration and teachers who never stopped caring, and thank you to the coaches who pushed us to do our best. Thank you to our parents, friends, and family members for the endless support. Thank you to the community that never stopped giving back. And lastly, here's to Cuba. Here's to home. Here's to leaving it all behind so much earlier than expected. Here's to us. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2020. We will do great things. Thank you all. Good afternoon, Cuba Rusher class of 2020, and all the parents, grandparents, family members, faculty, staff, and administrators to the first ever virtual graduation of Cuba Rushford. Now, this is definitely not what we all had intended what graduation would be like this year. For that, we are saddened by this. But being part of a rebel family, we are always thinking out of the box to achieve those goals that lay in front of us. So with the support that you have always had from your parents, teachers, administrators, staff, district members, and school board members, your goals will be achieved. So when you leave these halls, please take with you all that you have learned and pass it on. Get involved with your community, stay strong, and thank the people who made you who you are today. Now, it always has been the mission of the Cuba Rushford School District to prepare students to be lifelong learners who are independent, involved, mindful citizens in a global community. And as the school board has watched the class of 2020 grow over the years, we know that it has been a mission accomplished. So on behalf of the Board of Education and the Cuba Rushford School community, I want to say we are very, so very proud of all of you and all your accomplishments. We will always be here for you whenever you need us so keep up the great work, congratulations, and welcome to the family of CRCS alumni. Thank you. Celebrating the kings and queens, the politicians praise my name. Those were someone else's dreams, the pitfalls of the man I became. For years and years, I chased their cheers, a crazy speed of always needing more. But when I stop and see you here, I remember who all this was for. Be blinded by the lights. From now on, let's wait until tomorrow starts tonight. And it starts tonight. And what a big promise in me start. Like an anthem in my heart.
for high school to be over. Although I had a great experience filled with amazing friends and teachers that created some of my favorite memories, I was ready to begin a new chapter in my life. I thought I was ready to go until the time came when it was unexpectedly over. That's when I realized I wasn't even close to being ready to leave. At any high school, it is common to hear students grumbling about being at school all day and how they can't wait to be home. Typically, We'd be at school for a good eight hours or more, hurrying from class to class, writing papers for Schwab, trying to figure out whatever kind of math Mr. Kenyon is trying to teach us, and anxiously finishing up any last minute work before the period starts. Because who are we kidding? We've all done that before. Looking back at that time, I realized that in between those stressful moments, we'd always make time to chat with our favorite teachers, sit next to our friends in class, and catch up with each other during lunch, there's not a student I know who wouldn't choose to be at school over this quarantine we've had. Quarantine was hard. It was hard not being taught in school. It was hard trying to figure out classes through online formats and video chat. It was hard being isolated from friends and constantly thinking about what we would miss out on during our last months as seniors. Even though we won't have those final memories together, we are all coming out of this difficult time stronger and more prepared than ever to take on the future. One of the hardest lessons that quarantine has taught me is that not everything will go the way we plan. We have learned how to handle disappointment and how to face new challenges. It is not what we do now, but how we adapt and press on that matters. Throughout this time away from each other, we have been creative in staying in touch. We have showed our love for each other in several ways. If we can stay strong together in this time of disarray and chaos, I know that we'll be there for each other after we graduate today. Nobody expected something like this to happen, but if we can handle all of these hardships, there isn't anything we can't tackle. Challenges like these aren't meant to expose our weaknesses. It is a way for us to find our inner strengths. These tests are what develop us as people. As most of you know, I'm a pretty big sports fan. I love playing volleyball and basketball, and I love watching them too. In the winter, I especially love following UNC basketball. Shout out to Mr. Ryan and Mr. Ellison. One of the greats and a former UNC basketball player, Michael Jordan, says this. If you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them, everyone has had them. But obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. As we leave here today, some of us will be continuing on to college or going into the workforce, but no matter where we go, our future is bright. Even though we had to spend our last few months as seniors apart, we still finished strong together. I'm proud to congratulate the class of 2020. We did it! <laughs> Back in September on our very first day of senior year, I remember sitting in Mr. Kenyon's class daydreaming about the last day of school. I wasn't wishing for the year to be over already, but I was just thinking. Realizing how much of my life has been spent in this building, the thousands of memories I'll take with me when I leave, 
the friends, teachers, and everything about high school that I've loved so very much. I remember thinking about my last day of high school, how it would probably consist of a lot of tears, hugs, smiles, goodbyes, and see you laters. How I'd walk out of class and close my locker one last time, wait behind the insanely long line of buses on the way home one last time, and be a high school student one last time. Fast forward a few months to February, and I'm sitting in Mr. Kenyon's class again, but now he's going on and on about a weird virus that's shutting down schools and businesses in China. He's saying that it's going to hit the U.S. and even our community eventually, that we're going to have to prepare to rely entirely on online schooling. Yeah, right, we all thought. No way that's happening. We're staying in school and we're going to do all the fun senior things like normal. We're going to walk out of school together on that last day in June, closing our lockers for the last time, blasting happy music as we drive away, celebrating the last day of high school. Unfortunately, as you know, Mr. Kenny was right as always, and that special last day never came. Un uh, well, it did, but it came on a Thursday in the middle of March. On that day, all of us seniors closed our lockers and walked out of the building, unbeknownst to the fact that it was the very last time we'd ever do just that. That realization that we went through our last day of high school, sat on our desks, heard that three o'clock bell ring, waved to our teachers, zipped up our backpacks, and rushed to get out of the parking lot was, for the very last time was one of the saddest realizations I and I'm sure many others felt. At first, we went home thinking, sweet, a little break, a little time off during this busy year. That little break quickly turned into never going back. For the past three months, we've been cooped up inside our homes with just our families, going to Zoom classes and FaceTiming our friends that we should have been walking to class with or having dance parties in a hotel room with on our senior trip that never came. This was a terribly sad, unfortunate ending to this chapter of our lives, but I refuse to dwell on that fact. I refuse to sit in misery, mad at the world for robbing our class of these final months together. Our world was flipped upside down, but frankly, we've handled it like champs and we've remained strong and optimistic. We lost this time together, but we have so much more to be overwhelmingly grateful for. We have grown up together, made some of the happiest, most special memories, and have been one of the closest and strongest classes I think Cuba Rushford has ever seen. That's what I've chosen to focus on today. The past 12 years spent with you amazing, hilarious, talented, wonderful human beings that I'm extremely and eternally grateful for. Close your eyes for a second. I know you'll feel awkward, but just do it. Think about your favorite memories from your entire school experience. Maybe you're picturing seventh grade ecology camp singing the campfire song around the fire each night, or maybe sixth grade when Mrs. Howe screamed in the middle of each class for a lesson, and it was all we could talk about for literally five days straight. Maybe you're picturing our class roaming around Washington as seventh and eighth graders, wearing our brand new I Heart DC shirts and bucket hats being the absolute most stereotypical tourists ever. Or maybe you're picturing your first school dance, where we all had our first slow dances to some Ed Sheeran song, awkwardly swaying in circles in front of our teachers. Maybe you're picturing a funny moment in lunch or your favorite class, or your favorite memory from a game, practice, or concert. All these moments from our, plat our past hold a special place in my heart, but one of my absolute favorite memories was when we made history winning Powder Puff junior year. While yes, my inner competitiveness was definitely thriving, the fact that we won isn't what makes that memory special. It was the overwhelming sense of community and friendship that I felt. After the final buzzer went off and we realized we had won, our entire class ran into a big circle, all screaming, jumping, and cheering with happiness and excitement. I remember standing in the middle, recording on my phone, surrounded by my classmates, the people I've grown up alongside since I was four. Standing on that football field under the bright lights, cheering and laughing with my entire class celebrating our win, taking pictures with my friends before heading over to the bonfire, that moment felt like everything it means to be a high school student. Everyone has a memory like this, a moment filled with pure bliss and joy, one that encompasses your entire high school experience. I'm sure if we each took our turn by talking about our favorite high school moment, we could all add on to the story and probably end up laughing and sharing even more memories on top of our own personal favorites. These moments and memories are what pull us together. They unite us under one common background. No matter where we go after high school, whether we end up in different states, countries, or even just a different town in the county, we share these memories together. This bond has given us lifelong friends and has kept us together through the happy and saddest of times, including a global pandemic and times of virtual learning and social distancing. Wherever you end up, remember this chapter, this foundation for the rest of your life. It made you who you are today. We'll always have these shared experiences to pull us together, a common first chapter in the tale of our lives. Today, as we become high school graduates and Cuba Rushford alumni, the first chapter of our lives is coming to a close. We have made this first chapter an amaz absolutely amazing one together, but now we have our entire lives ahead of us. 
So take this chapter, this foundation, and put it to good use. Carry the memories, the life lessons, the friendships, and this incredible experience with you as we head our separate ways. Never forget the people who got you here today. Your parents, family, friends, anyone. I know I wouldn't be standing on this stage without the help and guidance from my amazing parents, siblings, friends, and the incredible and outstanding teachers I've been so blessed to have for the past 12 years. Remember where you came from, remember this family, the people who should be sitting next to you on this stage with me, and those who'd be looking up at you with a smiling face from the crowd. So with this all in mind, let us enter this new and exciting chapter of our lives with our heads held high and our hearts and minds stronger and more united than ever. To the class of 2020, we did it. Good evening to the Cuba Russia class of 2020. You would have never imagined your senior year ending the way it did. You must be feeling a wide range of emotions right now, as it is different than anything you have ever experienced in your life. Although the setting might be different, the amount of work and dedication that you put to finish the race isn't. Like my good friend, Mr. Ullman, former Cuba Rushford High School social studies teacher said, a worthwhile achievement is its own reward. The achievement is the reward. So as you graduate and pursue your passions, remember, you accomplished finishing the race, and we are very proud of you. My words of wisdom enlisted in order of importance. Seek wisdom and truth, and have the courage to stand up for it. Your senior year was very unique and different. Use this experience to keep you flexible and nimble so that you can adapt and live a purposeful life. There are still complex problems to solve in the world. Remember, you are a rebel. You are a Cuba Rushford rebel. Now go solve them and make our communities a better place to live for future generations. We love you and wish you the best, and we will miss you. I will see you out there. Most of you weren't born yet, but you've heard the stories. September 11th, 2001. I know exactly where I was. 10th grade, period three, room 203, Mr. Holly's English class. Today, you are here as the graduating class of 2020. You are the first graduating class to be born into a life where the tragedy of 9-11 was not an event in your life, but an event in history. To me, to your teachers, to your families, we remember it clearly. You, understandably so, hear the stories but have trouble relating. Why do I tell you this? Because for you, this story will be COVID-19. This event that put a stop to your senior year is an event you will remember clearly. On Thursday, March 12th, you left school excited to have Friday as a day off. You might look back and remember what test you had to study for or what teachers were saying about this coming virus. And more than likely, you weren't totally listening at the time. And soon after, school was canceled for good and things were canceled, one after another. You might look back on that and remember where you were when you heard school was closed indefinitely, what teacher contacted you first after the closure, or the day it really hit you that the year was really over. 19 years from now, this will be a moment you still remember well, but it will be a moment the class of 2039 only hears about, a moment to which they won't really relate. You are a graduating class, mostly born in the 2000s, to be considered born into and living in the digital age your entire life. Yet here you are, living a reality that none of us predicted. Born into the digital age and more tech savvy than most adults in your lives, yet shocked and stunned by the digital education and graduation forced upon you. You are the first class in history to endure this. Cuba Rushford, class of 2020, you are living history. You will forever be the class who goes down in history as the seniors who had their final year of high school cut short abruptly and unexpectedly due to a global pandemic. But I must say, pandemic aside, Looking at the names of those of you graduating today, I am not at all surprised that you are a class who will go down in history. While it is easy to focus on the things you feel have been taken from you during this, let's not forget what got you here. 
This day is years in the making. This accomplishment is a compilation of milestones and challenges. You've grown up a rebel. You are living history as a rebel. And you will do what most Generation Z individuals have the ultimate desire to do. You will change the world because you are a rebel. So what does that mean? What does it mean to be a proud student graduate and soon to be Cuba Rushford rebel alumni? It means that you demonstrate and embrace respect. Your entire school career, respect in some form or another, has been drilled into you. You've heard it all. You don't have to like them, but you do have to respect them. Someday you're going to have a boss you don't like, but you still need to show respect. Treat others the way you want to be treated. But the thing I want you to take with you today is the importance of self-respect. No matter what you decide to do with your life after this, do things not to seek attention, but to earn respect. It lasts much longer. Know that unfortunately so, there will always be someone who doesn't see the worth of your work. But don't let that person be you. Respect yourself enough to walk away from mediocrity. Respect yourself enough to hold true to your values. Respect yourself enough to be unapologetically you. Being a rebel means that you embrace empathy. You may not understand everyone's circumstance, and you will not experience everything everyone else does. But having the ability to connect with another's emotion, listen without judgment, and allow them to be safe with you is empathy. Brene Brown says that what no one needs in the midst of struggle is shame. Just like you will have enough self-respect to be unapologetically you, have enough, enough empathy to allow others to be unapologetically human. Bravery, the third trait of being a rebel. My gosh, life can get hard. And trust me, it will. I do believe all the cliches are true. Everything happens for a reason. And like Bob Marley says, every little thing is going to be all right. But in between, it doesn't always feel that way. Life is scary, decisions are scary, pain and grief and heartache and disappointment are scary. When people tell you, don't be scared, don't listen. Be scared, just show up anyway. That's what bravery really is, and that's what the rebel in you will do. Be brave enough to know your own worth when it seems like someone else doesn't. Be brave enough to empathize with those who need it most. Be brave enough to show up and show up scared. Being a rebel means you have enthusiasm. I don't mean enthusiasm in the sense that you have to start every day with G-O-O-D morning, although I encourage it. But I mean enthusiasm in the way that Winston Churchill defines it. Success consists of going from failure to failure without ever losing enthusiasm. It's real, you will fail, and you will fail more than once. But being a person who even does foolish things with enthusiasm will bring you success, and that is contagious. Remember the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. You are a rebel, a rebel with enthusiasm, and you will achieve greatness. And finally, the L in rebel is for leadership. I challenge you to leave here today, no matter what your future plans, with the goal of being not a boss, but a leader. Being a boss will give you position and title, but being a leader will give you people. People who, from you, have learned respect, empathy, bravery, and enthusiasm. Live like a rebel, leave like a rebel. To each of you in the class of 2020, Wherever life takes you next, know that this school is always your home. When the going gets tough, keep going. Work hard for the things you need so you can be blessed with the things and the people you want. When the hard work pays off, celebrate. Be the class that came out of COVID-19 as a legacy. Let your story make history. You were born a rebel, you grew up a rebel. Now it's time to live your life as a rebel. Go. My love and blessings to you always. I want to start by saying congratulations to all the graduates in the Cuba Rushford class of 2020. To all the proud parents, grandparents, 
families and loved ones who join us today as we recognize all the hard work and accomplishments of our graduates. I acknowledge your contributions and offer you congratulations as well. My heart is with you, class of 2020. I know it's a tough time. I know you didn't get that last standing ovation from the play or the last senior night on our home field or even the simple experience of waking up for your last day of school. But your impact will not be easily forgotten. Your class will be remembered for continuing to grow senior seminar, demonstrating tremendous school spirit and being the most caring class I have ever seen. Even today, I know you don't get to sit amongst one another, walk across that stage in your cap and gown, and enjoy the festivities in a traditional sense. Still, don't forget the road that you traveled to get to this point. Don't forget the fact that you deserve a pat on the back and a huge round of applause for achieving what you have achieved. It's something special. You are now officially trainable. You can read, you can write, you can comprehend. What I mean to emphasize is this. You accomplished step one. The rest of your life lies ahead of you. This is just the beginning. Rather than beginning the ending, this is where it all starts. This is not the finale. This is the jumping off point. From this moment on, the future belongs to you. Go forth and don't ever, ever let a single soul tell you that just because you're graduating under unique circumstances in an unconventional ceremony from a rural district upstate that you, don't, you can't achieve your ultimate personal success or that you can't capture the ultimate dreams. Trust me when I tell you, you can. You know why? The experiences that CRCS has given you through the years have prepared you to be successful. While at CRCS, you have built lasting relationships with peers and adults. You have grown up in a community that takes pride in each and every one of you. In addition, you have had the opportunity to explore and excel in a diverse array of fields during your education. Many of you have grown up with the same classmates since kindergarten and have also come to know teachers on a personal level as not only educators, but as neighbors and coaches or customers at whatever establishment you may work. Even during these difficult times, the pride and love that Cuba Rushford Rebels have is second to none. The ability to take part in a multitude of different classes, clubs, and sports has given you a broad perspective moving forward. For all these reasons and many more, the class of 2020 is ready to graduate from step one and find their happiness as they move forth in their journey. I believe my message to you today is best summed up in a quote from Winston Churchill. This is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Take these words along with the experiences you have gathered through your first 18 years and strive to achieve your ultimate dream. Good luck and God bless to Cuba Rushford class of 2020. Jerry Armstrong. Jerry will be attending Alfred State with an undecided major. Angelina Beltzer. Angelina will be attending Hobart and William Smith Colleges, majoring in theater and archaeology. She is the recipient of Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Patriot Newspaper English 12 Award, Cuba Friendship Masonic Lodge No. 306, Math 12 Award, Town of Cuba Auxiliary Post 2721 VFW History 12 Award, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, Lawrence Dye Incorporated Scholarship, Rushford Scholarship Fund Association Scholarship and Rushford Scholarship Fund Jeff Gilbert Memorial Scholarship. Angelina achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Dominic Berardi. Dominic will be attending Ithaca College, majoring in education. He is the recipient of the DeVere Sweet Memorial Award, AMVETS Auxiliary History Award, Brenda Bailey Memorial Scholarship, CRTA Education Award, and the Carl and Lois Farner Award. Dominic achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Ethan Brooks. Ethan will be attending CDA Technical Institute, majoring in commercial driving. He is the recipient of Cheyenne Elizabeth Wolfer Memorial Scholarship, Senior Seminar Award, and Cuba Grange No. 799 Agriculture Award. Chase Buckholtz. Chase will be attending University of Northwestern Ohio, majoring in high-performance motorsports. 
He is the recipient of M. Gretchen Probst Scholarship and Allegheny County Pomona Grange No. 45 Perseverance Award. Miles Buckholtz Edel. Miles is undecided at this time. Robert Burkhardt. Robert will be attending Alfred State, majoring in criminal justice. Caitlin Campbell. Caitlin will be attending Alfred State, majoring in human resources. Cameron Caton. Cameron will be attending Oswego, majoring in meteorology, atmospheric sciences. Anna Clayson. Anna will be attending JCC, majoring in art therapy. She is the recipient of a Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship and Chet Swear Memorial Visual Arts Award. Andrew Clement. Andrew will be attending St. John Fisher, majoring in biology. He is the recipient of an ACAF scholarship Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Diane Winchell Borden Memorial Award. Andrew achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Sarah Cole. Sarah will be attending Casanova, majoring in criminal justice and psychology. She is the recipient of an Alexander K. Radloff Memorial Award, Cuba Rod and Gun Club Trap Team Scholarship, 2020 Allegheny County NHS Scholarship, and an L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship. Sarah achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Skylar Coleman. Skylar will be attending Southeastern Electrical Lineman School, majoring in electrical linemen. Chris Crosby. Chris will be returning to CR BOCES CTE. Alex Cusimano. Alex will be attending Indiana Wesleyan University, majoring in theology and biblical studies. He is the recipient of a Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Senior Seminar Award and Cuba Council of Churches Scholarship. Alex achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Kiefer Davies. Kiefer will be entering the workforce to pursue a career in farming. He is the recipient of Stephen Holmes and Jeanette Holmes Red Eye Memorial Ag Award and Cuba Grange No. 799 Agriculture Award. Daniel Emerson. Daniel will be attending JCC, majoring in physical education and public health. He is the recipient of a Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship. Cody Findlay. Cody will be attending Alfred State, majoring in Computer Sciences. He is the recipient of an Alfred State Alumni Scholarship. Joseph Frederick. Joseph will be entering the Navy. He is the recipient of Senior Seminar Award and the Sons of the AMVETS Award. Nicholas Freeman. Nicholas will be attending Genesee Community College, majoring in physical therapy. He is the recipient of a Jessica Karst Cawley Memorial Award, Deputy Sheriff Scholarship, Linnae M. Granger Nicholas Memorial Award, and the Friends of Allegheny ARC Scholarship. Jesse Goldsmith. Jesse will be attending St. John Fisher College, majoring in nursing. She is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, CRCS Student Council Leadership Award, and the St. John Fisher College's Founders Scholarship. Jillian Goldsmith. Jillian will be attending JCC, majoring in physical therapy. Joshua Gordon. Joshua will be entering the workforce to pursue a career in dairy farming at Table Rock Farm Incorporated. He is the recipient of Cuba Grange No. 799 Agriculture Award. Jeffrey Gore. 
Jeffrey will be entering the Navy. He is the recipient of the Sons of AMVETS Award. Meredith Grasso. Meredith will be attending RIT Kate Gleason College of Engineering, majoring in mechanical engineering. She is the recipient of a Belva A. Waite Memorial Scholarship, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, Rushford Scholarship Fund, Order of the Eastern Scar Scholarship, Rushford Scholarship Fund, Association Scholarship, and RIT Presidential Scholarship. Meredith achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Taylee Grimes. Taylee will be attending Southern Wesleyan University, majoring in music. Taylee is the recipient of Southern Wesleyan University Track and Field Scholarship, Southern Wesleyan University Music Scholarship, Southern Wesleyan University Choir Scholarship, and the John and Rebecca Newby Presidential Scholarship. Nathan Hardy. Nathan will be entering the workforce pursuing a career in heavy equipment. Desiree Heim. Desiree will be entering the workforce pursuing a career in retail. Trinity Hinckley. Trinity will be entering the workforce pursuing a career in the medical field. Alexandra Kate Howe. Kate will be attending Gordon College, majoring in kinesiology. She is the class of 2020 valedictorian and the recipient of a Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Cuba Chamber of Commerce Student of the Year Award, Dale McGinnis Scholarship, Ralph Harbeck Memorial Scholarship, CRCS Student Council Math Award, Leadership Award, Cuba American Legion Auxiliary English 12 Award, Cuba Rushford PTO Madeline A. Brown Senior Seminar Award, Town of Cuba Auxiliary Post 2721 VF Taliu 12 Awards, 2020 Allegheny County NHS Scholarship, Cuba Rushford Alumni Association Scholarship, the Ideal CRCS Student Award, Lene M. Granger Nicholas Memorial Award, Eprecht Family Foundation Scholarship, Allegheny County Board of Legislators Award, Visit Scholarship, Friends of Gordon Grant, and the Harold John Okanga Scholarship. Kate achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Joel Hutchison. Joel will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career in auto body. Ashley Irvin. Ashley will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career at Cuba Memorial Hospital. Joseph Jablonski. Joseph will be attending Alfred State, majoring in HVAC. He is the recipient of an M. Gretchen Probst Scholarship. Abigail Jaffe. Abigail will be attending Alfred State, majoring in Liberal Arts. She is the recipient of Jeffrey L. Linza Memorial Scholarship, Carl and Lois Farner Award, and an Alfred State Alumni Scholarship. Abigail achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Nathaniel Johnson. Nathaniel will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career with Kendall Carr and Automotive. Kayla Joy. Kayla will be attending JCC, majoring in psychology. She is the recipient of a Renee Wolbert Memorial Scholarship. Chloe Carn. Chloe will be attending Cuca College and Finger Lakes College of Nursing and Health Sciences, majoring in a dual degree nursing program. She is the recipient of the Anne Swift Memorial Nursing School Scholarship, Alexander K. Radloff Memorial Award, Senior Seminar Award, and Cuca College Alumni Association Scholarship. 
Chloe achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. William Kelly. William will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career in mechanical work. Tegan Knobloch. Tegan will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career as an EMT. Julius Kordakowski. Julius will be attending Alfred State, majoring in nursing. He is the recipient of a Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, a Dale McGinnis Scholarship, and the Patriot Newspaper Journalism Award. Julius achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Chloe Cranick. Chloe will be attending Wells College, majoring in history. She is the recipient of the Cuba Historical Society Florence Willis Memorial History Award, a trustee scholarship, and a collegiate honor award. Chloe achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Dustin Krieger. Dustin will be attending Alfred State, majoring in welding metal fabrication. Caden Larrabee. Caden will be attending Alfred State, majoring in surveying and geomatics engineering. He is the recipient of a Belva A. Waite Scholarship for trade, technical, or vocational study, a Kaylee Wilday Scholar Athlete Award, a Carl and Lois Farner Award, the Elko Federal Credit Union College Scholarship, and an Alfred State Presidential Scholarship. Caden achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Bailey Laux. Bailey will be attending University of Findlay, majoring in equine science, equine business management. She is the recipient of the Belva A. Waite Scholarship, Henrietta von Zwanenberg Scholarship, Cheyenne Elizabeth Wolfer Memorial Scholarship, Donald and Jean Totten Dick and Paula Amundsen Memorial Scholarship, Cuba Rod and Gun Club Outdoor Enthusiast Scholarship, Lakewood Veterinary Services Scholarship, Lawrence Dye Incorporated Scholarship, Interscholastic Equestrian Association Scholarship, Western and Central New York Safari Club Scholarship, University of Findlay Western Equestrian Program Grant, University of Findlay Resident Grant, and University of Findlay Merit Scholarship. Bailey achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Grady McComsky. Grady will be attending Alfred State, majoring in education. He is the recipient of the American Legion Citizenship Award and a Dale McGinnis Scholarship. Luke Miller. Luke will be attending RIT, majoring in computing security. He is the recipient of the Cuba Chamber of Commerce Student of the Year Award, the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Allegheny County Board of Legislators Award, RIT Presidential Scholarship, and an RIT Performing Arts Scholarship. Luke achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Elijah Mins. Elijah will be entering the workforce. Caden Moyer. Caden will be attending Alfred State, majoring in business management. He is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship and an Alfred State Presidential Scholarship. Caden achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Avion Merch. Avion will be entering the Navy. Caleb Myers. Caleb is undecided and will be attending college in the future. Dennis Trey Myers. Trey will be attending St. Bonaventure University, majoring in adolescent and special education. He is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, 
a CRTA Education Award, an Alexander K. Radloff Memorial Award, the Florence Wills Memorial History Award, Florence Dye Incorporated Scholarship, Cuba Rushford PTO Scholarship, and the St. Bonaventure Provost Scholarship. Blaise Osterhout. Blaise will be entering the workforce with plans to attend college for music therapy. Nevea Peacock. Nevea will be attending Chatham University, majoring in creative writing. She is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, a Robert Hall Memorial Music Award, Senior Seminar Award, and a Merit Scholarship. Jonathan Perry. Jonathan will be entering the workforce. He is the recipient of the Allegheny County Pomona Grange No. 45 Inspiration Award. Nathan Pinney. Nathan will be attending Alfred State, majoring in architecture. He is the recipient of the Dale McGinnis Scholarship, a Senior Seminar Award, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, the Twin Tiers USBC Association Scholarship, and the Elko Federal Credit Union Scholarship. Zoe Pratt. Zoe will be attending Monroe Community College, majoring in psychology. Christiana Reynolds. Christiana will be attending RIT, majoring in 2D animation and minoring in video game design. She is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, a French Club Service Award, Cheyenne Elizabeth Wolfer Memorial Scholarship, a Senior Seminar Award, the Charles and Cecil Arsberger Memorial Award, an L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, Alfred State Distinguished Scholars of Excellence in Education Scholarship, RIT's 2020 Performing Arts Award, RIT Presidential Scholarship, and RIT Innovation and Creativity Award Scholarship. Christiana achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Bailey Rouse. Bailey will be attending the University of Buffalo Honors College, majoring in Biological Sciences, pre-dental track. She is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, a CRCS Student Council Leadership Award, a Senior Seminar Award, the 2020 Allegheny County NHS Scholarship, Cuba Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, an L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, and a New York State Academic Excellence Scholarship. Bailey achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Nathaniel Russ. Nathaniel will be pursuing a career in music. Avery Salter. Avery will be attending the University of Buffalo Honors College, majoring in Biomedical Sciences, pre-med track. She is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Edwin Moses Scholarship, John J. Murphy Family Scholarship, Cuba Friendship Masonic Lodge, number 306 Math 12 Award, Senior Seminar Award, a 2020 Allegheny County NHS Scholarship, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, and a Pride of New York Scholarship. Avery achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Mark Stafford. Mark will be entering the workforce, pursuing a career in construction or welding. Grace Stolberg. Grace will be attending Nazareth College, majoring in the Biomedical Sciences Honors Program. She is the class of 2020 salutatorian and the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, 2020 Allegheny County NHS Scholarship, Cuba Rushford Alumni Association Scholarship, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, 
Higher Education Services Cooperation STEM Scholarship, Nazareth Research Scholarship, Nazareth Room Grant, Nazareth Purple and Gold Grant, Nazareth College Presidential Scholarship, and New York State Academic Excellence Award. Grace achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Ashley Taylor. Ashley will be attending a CNA class at Houghton's Rehabilitation and Nursing Center and later pursuing a career as a healthcare nurse. Devin Tuller. Devin will be attending Houghton College, undecided in his major. He is the recipient, the Alfred Wood Scholarship, Alexander K. Radloff Memorial Award, Senior Seminar Award, L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship, Rushford Alumni Association Bill and Ruth Albro Memorial Scholarship, and Rushford Scholarship Fund Association Scholarship. Alexander Tyler. Alexander will be attending Central Methodist University, majoring in exercise science. Alexander is the recipient of an Eagle Scholarship and a football member scholarship. Kyle Wittenrich. Kyle will be attending Robert Morris University, majoring in media arts. He is the recipient of the DAR School nominee, Allegheny Area Foundation Scholarship, Ilio Diapolo Scholarship, Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, American Legion Citizenship Award Honorable Mention, Senior Seminar Award, Cuba Rushford Alumni Association Scholarship, Ideal CRCS Student Award, and the L. Ted Utter Family Scholarship. Kyle achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. Ryan Witter. Ryan will be attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, majoring in aerospace engineering. He is the recipient of the Walter F. and Louisa A. Sibley Scholarship, Cuba Friendship Masonic Lodge No. 306 Math 12 Award, and an Embry-Riddle Presidential Scholarship. Ryan achieved high honor roll all four consecutive years. As graduation comes to an end and life outside of high school becomes a reality, I pray that we will all succeed in whatever we do. Let us walk through life being confident individuals and not timid. No matter what challenges we face, may we all have the resilience to overcome them, making us stronger. As our paths may be different, I hope we all remember the special bonds and relationships that Key Rushford has brought us. I know that this community will support us and be a part of our lives forever. I thank God every day for allowing me to witness the special qualities that Key Rushford possesses. They were two very short years, but extremely meaningful to me. As the class of 2020 ventures beyond high school, I pray that we will all be excited for what the future holds and remember that our dreams are valid. Congratulations to the class of 2020.